The next feature we're going to look at here is the products. Again, you're just going to toggle it on there and expand on the screen. So these are your different options when it comes to your product. So you have your product title, you have your product name, which is going to be the font style. These are all done before in your text styles video. So you can just select different ones that you want. So the next one, we're going to need another sprite again. So this is going to be the more info sprite. And again, when you're uploading these, just make sure that they are divisible by four, as we have four different states in this. So let's just try and find a button here for it. more info so the next one you're gonna have here is if you want to link a product or a third-party action so for the moment we're just gonna say link to be honest this is just what's gonna happen when you click on the button now we have two different options here you have a manual or you have a data-driven feed so you can select a data-driven field but you'll have to go under your settings to data feed for that so for the moment, we're just going to go through and select it manually. So I'm just going to show you how it's designed in the studio so far. So this is just another sample that I've done up here. So as you can see there from the studio, you now have a product option. You're just going to, going to click and drag to make your product. So you're going to double click on your image there and you're just going to select an image. So these are your assets that you would have uploaded from before. And I'm just going to try and pick one here. So there's your picture then. You're going to type in your product name. So just red shoes. And then you have your more info button. So as you can see, there's now a link option there. So the link option, you're just going to type in whatever website you want it to go to so I'm just going to say shoes and then you have three different options here so if you wanted to open in that same one open a tab open a new window or you can just close the link remove the link so those are your options then and that's just a sample of what it will look like so there's your product there on your page when you click the button it would give you a real website product here so we have the settings here, if you want to add in a description, a price, whatever other things that you may need for your product. You just click select. And these are all your different little boxes for whatever text you need input there. I'm just going to fast forward this bit here, just move them all around a bit. And just type in the text needed for it. You just fill in your boxes then and for whatever information you need on your thing. And all of these texts are predefined in your style section or your brand style section. So these can be changed anytime you want. However, you can't change them from the studio as you have no text properties there. And that's about it then on products. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use. And you can always go back to your content template to fix any modifications.